Hi everyone. Today I'll be teaching you how to parse and validate a full name in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using the Cloudmersive Data Validation Connector. Now to get things started, we will click Create. On this page, we will choose Instant Cloud Flow and type in a name for the flow. Then we will select Manually Trigger a Flow and press Create. Now we're ready to begin. The first and only step of our process is selecting the name validation function. To do this, we will look up the Cloudmersive Data Validation Connector, which is the blue icon here, and select Parse and Validate a Full Name. Note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you will be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the Cloudmersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. At this point, we will simply input the name we want to validate. I'm going to use a simple generic name as an example. Since this is the only step in our process, we are now ready to click the Save button at the bottom of the screen. It will take a moment to save your information, but once it's complete, we can click the Test button in the top right-hand corner. We will choose the manual option for testing the file, hit the second Test button, and then Continue. After that, we will click Run Flow and Done. After clicking Done, we will see green check marks next to all of the connectors showing that the flow worked. Now we can simply click on the action step to view our results. We can see that the function provided a display name and parsed the name into separate parts, including first name, last name, middle name, and suffix. The validation results came back as valid for both the first name and last name. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors and Power Automate.